So the Māori people in New Zealand, the Māori culture, um, is, is our, uh, they're our indigenous people, our native people. They were there before uh, uh, Europeans, um, who are called Pākehā um, in New Zealand. And a lot of our culture really comes from Māori culture. Uh, so, um, but there has been, um, there are, and, and this is certainly not right throughout Māori culture, but there is definitely an aspect of um, problems with gangs and, um, uh, you know, uh, poverty. And I think that in, in, a, in, in a situation like that, um, uh, someone like Genesis is kind of like a shining light. And he's one of those people who, I think there are people like this all over the place, but we just don't hear about them. They're sort of the unsung hero. And uh, what this was an opportunity to do was to really kind of actually shine that light on him and put him on the stage that, that he never normally would have been put on. And, uh, you know, because he was actually um, uh, a leader of, of his community, mm -hmm. but he was also um, stigmatized because of uh, his, his mental health and, yeah. and his struggles with that. And this was are, a... Are these people as a group also stigmatized? No, no. But there's, there are definitely, um, you know... Um, There's somebody saying right in the beginning of the film, uh, um, go on the dole and get a life. You know, that sort of, uh, oh, they're, they're good for nothing. Yeah, I think it's that if you're really that low, then yeah. there's a stepping stone to is kind the dole, of getting yeah. your life on, okay. on track. And the first thing is maybe yeah. get money from somewhere. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but do, do you feel as a New Zealander that their culture, that the, the, the native culture is part of you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So all these words and expressions, a New Zealand audience would recognize them and relate to them. Yeah, predominantly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's the first time that I've made uh, a film about uh, real people mm -hmm. and a real uh, situation, and it meant that I had to approach it in a completely different way because this is going to be, uh, particularly when Genesis, um, you know, uh, this is going to be their life story up on the screen and that's quite a dangerous thing in a way because uh, if I don't do it with respect and integrity uh, then there could be something quite damaging for them as people that uh, would be seen in a lot of ways as fact. Yeah. For the film, you, um, you used a, um, a mixture of uh, professional actors and I think uh, Cliff Curtis uh, stands out. Um, and, and, and amateurs. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of actors in the film who have never acted before in their life, um, including some of the really key roles. And uh, also a lot of the, the gang members in the film are real gang members. Mm -hmm. um, and they're actually from different gangs. So uh, there was a little bit of concern that if we have them on <laughs> set at the same time that um, you know, fiction might become reality. Uh, and I definitely... So was it very tightly scripted or uh, quite the other way around? Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's tightly scripted, but, um, you know, uh, so I definitely had times where there were quite a few people that thought I was insane for um, casting certain people in the film. But as I say, for me, the most important thing all along was authenticity. You know, it was so uh, crucial that, uh, you know, the last thing I wanted to do was make a film that, that had any kind of... Um, vacuous or, or Hollywood representation of, of a gang member or of, uh, you know, uh, any, any of the characters in the film. So I was prepared to take those risks. But the funny yeah. thing is, yeah, for most <laughs> real gang members, when you put a camera on them, they get really shy. They get shy. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, oh. yeah, it's sort of like, and they'll suddenly get quite self-conscious. And so you kind of have to do like workshops to sort of like, let's relax and just breathe out and, you know. Um, and the other interesting thing is that for a lot of um, members of a gang, uh, a lot of uh, what is, is, is important growing up in a gang is to be very stoic, to, to kind of be poker-faced. You don't want to give away emotion because that's kind of like a sign of, of weakness. So there's a, there's a very kind of um, uh, uh, tight control on revealing any emotion. Of course, then when you need an actor on camera to reveal emotion, um, that kind of poses a whole new set of, uh, of challenges. But nobody was protesting, hey, this is not like, it's, like it is in real life. No, in fact, they were all um, quite 
blown away by. I mean, all of the 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 the, the uh, gang uh, uh, clothing in the film is is authentic. You know, it's it's done by the, the the guys that actually make all of the prominent gangs in New Zealand. Their their patches and everything. So in fact, I think people were often getting quite disturbed at how real it was feeling, <laughs> um, which for me was fantastic. Uh, the, the idea yeah. that you saw through them. Uh, not that I saw through them, but I think that I, I saw them and that I was trying to depict them with, uh, again, as much uh, truth as I was able to.